Okay, we're just going to quickly show you how to do a um, chi-score analysis using our data set here. So if you go up to Analyze, down to Descriptive Statistics, and then long and down to cross tabs. Now the chi-square basically an analyzes an association by tabulating um, two categorical variables. So we first we need to tell SPSS which variables we're interested in. Now as with the example on the website we're going to look at gender and put that in the rows section and exclusion rate which we'll put in the columns section. Now at the moment SPSS would just draw us this table at the moment and tell us how many um, boys had been excluded and how many boys hadn't and how many girls had been excluded and how many hadn't. But we actually want to do a statistical test, the chi-square analysis, to find out whether the, the differences between, whether there's an association between those two variables, whether boys or girls are more likely to be excluded or whether there's no difference. So in order to do this we need to click on the statistics tab and tell SPSS we need to do a chi-square analysis. Now SPSS has lots of bells and whistles and lots of, lots of options that you could go for, but really we just want to do a simple Pearson's chi-square analysis in this instance. So just check that box and click OK. Um, the other useful thing to have is um, actually not just an account of the, the actual what the actual figures for our data are, but also what would be expected if there was no association. So if males and females were equally distributed between the, the groups which had and hadn't been excluded. In order to do this we just click on cells and we're already getting the observed counts we just need to click on expected and then we'll get the expected counts as well so we'll be able to compare the two and see if there's an, there's an obvious difference. Just click continue to close that box and then OK to run the analysis. So here we have the output, I'll just scroll down to show you there. So we've got these case processing summary, uh, this data is just tells us um, how many, how, what proportion of the sample were actually involved in the analysis. Now there's always going to be some missing data so we've actually got just under 90% of the sample which is just under 14,000 actually involved in the analysis and um, the missing cases probably just didn't answer all the questions or didn't completely answer all the questions so they were excluded from the analysis itself. Now what we have here is the cross tabulation itself which is the important part if you like. Now you can see it's um, split into into cells. So here we have those which have been excluded which are male, those which have been excluded which are female, and on the other side the females that weren't excluded in the last three years and the males that weren't excluded. Now what we're looking for is a difference between the expected values, so that's if there was no association at all between gender and exclusion and the actual counts that we've got. Now as you can see it looks like in, in terms of um, whether or not someone's been excluded, males seem to be excluded more than we'd expect and females less. So there seems to be an association between gender and exclusion. Now we can statistically check whether that's um, how probable that difference is to have occurred by chance by using the Pearson chi-square. Now it gives you an actual statistic value there, so that's the value of our chi-square which is very important when we report the data. But perhaps what we're more interested in is whether there's a, the, the difference that we've observed is statistically significant. Now if this value is less than 0 0.05 then we can say that it was it's statistically improbable that the difference we've seen could have occurred just by chance because we happen to pick the males that have been excluded more than the females in this particular sample. Now as you can see that at 0 0.000 it's actually quite a lot less than 0 0.05 so there seems to be a very small chance that the difference we've observed is due to sampling. So it seems likely that in the actual population males are more likely than females to, to be excluded. Okay that's just a that's chi-square analysis in a nutshell and um, check the website for more information. Thanks a lot.